In today's video, we're gonna be going over 19 free tools that I have personally used as I have grown AutoGrow, completely bootstrapped, no outside investment, from literally $200 in my personal bank account to over seven figures, which we crossed in 2021, crossed the seven figure mark. Let's jump into it. Hi guys, my name is Matt Ackerson. I'm the founder and CEO of autogrow.co in case you don't already know. And as I said today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you these 19 free tools. And these are tools that I have actually used in the trenches, marketing, building and growing, auto grow myself, as well as with our amazing team. I think in particular, you know, whether you're a startup looking, you're on a tight budget, you're looking to save money, you're wondering, you know, uh, like what's holding me back? You know, I, I need some sort of a tool to give me some structure, to save me some time. These tools are going to help you to do that, you know, just maximize your productivity. So most of these tools are designed to help you get noticed online, to get traffic. And specifically, if you wanted to put a label on it, they are most focused on helping you with your content marketing, okay? These are gonna help you to get more visibility on your content marketing overall, more traffic, more conversions, more engagement across uh, these different channels and to also to track uh, the results and more. So first tool is Loom. If you haven't heard of Loom already, for me personally, this allows me to just solve the problem and save just an immense amount of time of you know getting on one-on-one uh, -on -one calls or being limited by what I am typing in an email or a live chat. I find it just so much more efficient to communicate when there's a visual aid as well as when you can hear the person. So I like receiving looms as long as they're relatively short. And the great thing about the free plan is that you're actually kind of forced to keep them short. You have a limit of five minutes and that's more than enough to get your message across to your team, which saves you the time of actually, you know, getting on one-on-one -on -one Zoom call or, or a call in general where you're communicating in a synchronous way versus asynchronous where you can record it, you send it, it's there, they can listen as soon as they're available, and vice versa too. So once again, the website is loom.com, and as you can see on the screen here, they have a free plan, 100% free, and you can record up to five minutes per video. The next tool is CoSchedule. This is a tool you can use on, for example, your, your WordPress website, which is also free open source software to help you get started and just creating a blog that is going to be well optimized for SEO and for you know attracting traffic from people who might be searching on Google and elsewhere. The main value that I see to it, having used it in the past, basically it provides a marketing calendar. So it allows you just to kind of plan in a visual way in advance. And then if you want, you can also hook up your social media channels and you can um, simultaneously promote across those channels as well. Now we're gonna be recommending another tool coming up which may be able to overlap or replace some of the functionality with CoSchedule, but overall it's, you know, for the value, it's, it's pretty good to just help you get started, but you may wanna consider that other tool that I'm about to recommend coming up. So the next tool that I'm absolutely just crazy about because it's such a big value, but I think it's really underrated because it's so free. It's like they're not, they're not trying to make money at all. The biggest value of Hemingway app is that you can put your content right into it and it's going to tell you what the grade level is in terms of readability and your writing instantly just will engage and attract more readers to actually read the whole thing when you take the readability level from oftentimes eighth, ninth, 10th, whatever grade level that you might just naturally write at, and you aim to bring it down to a fifth or sixth grade level, possibly lower depending on you know your market and how complex your product service or topic is. But what I love about the most popular and many of the most successful blogs that are out there is that they have these crisp sentences. They're like little bites of a cookie. Okay, and I wondered how can I write like this? And when I found Hemingway app, it forces you to write like that. It teaches you by highlighting sentences, for example, are difficult to read because they are complex and it rates them in terms of the purpose is to make your writing stronger. By the way, if you are enjoying this list so far and you want even more recommendations for tools, I encourage you to check out the link in the description we have even more than 19 tools that we put together. We put together a list of actually 43 
So that link, if you're interested, is in the description. You can even download a copy of the article in full. The next tool is Zapier. Zapier has been around for a little while. You know, they're integrated with all of these different APIs and other apps, and they help to automate, you know, something happening in one app versus an action that you might want to take like sending an email or putting something to a spreadsheet in another app. The possibilities are almost limitless. It's integrated at this point with so many different apps. So many apps are integrated with it. There's a strong network effect around it. And so the value just increasingly grows. It is a great platform for just automating uh, repetitive tasks in your business. And really the only limit in terms of what you can automate is your imagination. Now, another just amazing tool that you have to have in order to run your business and, and get your funnel to convert and just for things to be stored and saved, you know, whether you're doing surveys, you know, whether you have a sign up form, a cancel form, a contact us form, check out Cognito Forms. And they are great. They actually provide more functionality compared to Wufu. Um, they don't have that kind of simple simplicity branding, but their price is, uh, is actually less expensive compared to Wufu. I do recommend Cognito Forms because it's worked for us and just gives you a lot more flexibility. There, there are things that it can do that just other form builders cannot. So with their free plan, you can get one user, unlimited forms, which is a lot, and up to 500 entries per month. So you are pretty much just set for a while if you sign up for Cognito Forms. And I'd love to give them some free press here because they've been a good tool. It's always worked as we've expected. And I think they've actually just improved it over time. So it's our pleasure to just recommend them and give them some free press. The next tool that we're gonna talk about and that I do recommend, although I haven't used it much recently, is Clearbit. So I used Clearbit when it first came out and it was just kind of a novelty. It was interesting how you could just find out anyone's email because if all you knew was their name or the company that they worked at, you could find and look up emails for people and this can be incredibly valuable, especially you know if you're looking to write content and get quotes from people, to interview people, to help you produce content, you know, to maybe solicit guest posting, whether you are posting on someone else's blog, website, social media, or you want them to post on yours, whatever it might be, you can use Clearbit to help you with these things because it will it makes it easy for you to find out this information as far as like the email addresses of people at these different companies. What's newer about it in, in more recent years is they came out with this ability to see who is actually visiting your website. What companies are they coming from? And that's incredibly interesting data to know. And that can help you to better understand your market and who you're appealing to. So you can, you know, align your funnel and your copywriting and your design with those people who are just naturally coming to your website right now. The next tool is Hotjar. Hotjar has been around for a while. What's cool about their solutions, as they say on their website, is they're constantly innovating and they have these just a lot of different features. It's a popular tool. We've used it in the past specifically for some A-B testing, as well as for heat maps to understand where are people going on our website? What are they doing? Where are they moving the mouse? And what's just awesome is that they have a free plan. And basically what is included in that free plan, you can get unlimited heat maps so you understand where people are scrolling, where they're moving the mouse, and automatic data capture. Hotjar gives you one free interview. That's pretty cool because apparently they're gonna, they're gonna spend about 20 pounds, whatever that comes out to in dollars. So that makes you see the free plan is even more valuable. The next tool is Sumo. This was started by Noah Kagan. Noah is a serial entrepreneur. He knows how to get stuff done. He knows how to sell. He knows how to grow businesses from scratch and succeed relatively quickly. And this was one of the examples of that. You know, they're currently on installed uh, almost nearly a million websites according to the stat here. And apparently it's free forever. Years ago, when the blog was still kind of getting off the ground, we were growing traffic. And it was really cool uh, because just being able to see the stats of, of how many people opted in, being able to use the research that actually Noah and the AppSumo team or Sumo team actually published saying, oh, you want to use your pop-up, show your pop-up at the five-second mark because that's going to get the best conversion rate. 
Um, so I did that, I used their tool and it worked and we were growing our email list and it was just kind of like an aha moment where I was like, wow, this is, this is a free tool. You know, we're growing our email list. We surpassed 10 in a day. I remember that was like very exciting. Like, wow, we did 10 new subscribers in a day. I was like, this makes sense and this, this works. And you know, so our sales started to climb as a result of that too. It works, especially if you are a startup just getting started or you just need something that is pretty simple and straightforward. The next tool under the heading of content creation and design tools is Canva. So with free, it looks like, and from my using it in the recent past, you're gonna get pretty much everything you need to get going. They even give you some AI powered design tools like Magic Write, Magic Design, Magic Edit. I haven't used those, that's interesting though. I assume that that's probably you know generating uh, some AI images based on some given input prompt. One million free photos and graphics, 250,000 free templates, that's that's great, that's awesome. You know, this, this is a very interesting company. I am curious to understand what their whole growth story is. We're planning different formats for these videos, so I think we'll do a growth story on Canva. If you're interested in that, if that excites you, interests you, please leave a comment, you know, like, let us know. So again, Canva, it's a tool where, let's say you wanna create a social media graphic and you wanna put some text on it. So you can generate the graphic, they give you the template, and you can slap your text on it and you can style it however you want and boom, you've got your social media graphic. That is just one example, one use case for how you can uh, use Canva. And the next tool is YouTube. YouTube is kind of underrated, I think, as a tool. You kind of like assume, you know, a lot of people know YouTube already. Recommending YouTube isn't necessarily telling you about YouTube because you don't know about YouTube. Everyone and their grandma knows about YouTube. The point is, is that you could potentially pay for video hosting somewhere else. And there are certain advantages to that. Like if you want to have like a very premium branding or premium frame around your business and your brand, you might want to consider going with Vimeo, for example. But with YouTube, it's a whole community. It's a whole network. There's a whole ecosystem and it's the second biggest search engine on the web. So by using YouTube as your video hosting platform, you're getting instant distribution and they have some basic video editing tools, but you know, most people don't use it for that reason. You, use, you have other tools, but they give you the distribution and they give you the hosting and that's free and that's really valuable. Don't underestimate the value of that, especially as a distribution channel. Okay, for the next tool, I actually want to recommend Planable. I'm going to be checking this out. This is one of the few tools on this list that I have not personally used, but I wanted to give it an honorable mention because it solves a problem that we have and which you might have watching this either now or in the future as, as you grow. If you have this problem, you're probably growing or you're in a position where this tool could just benefit you. So basically what this tool does, like it auto grows. So we have about five or six people in a chat right now and we're all collaborating on what we're writing, when it's going out, editing, ideation, outlining research, video editing. Shout out to Vincent who helps to edit and produce these videos. Yeah, Vincent, keep it going. We have a team of people and we're just using our own live chat right now to coordinate on everything. But something like Planable could be helpful for better coordination. You can see here that you're able to hook up, it looks like your social media channels and then you're able to comment. So interested to check this out, wanted to give it an honorable mention because I think if it does what it says it does, it probably solves this problem where you're producing content and there are different responsibilities on the team. And so the content goes from idea and sort of moves down the conveyor belt and each person does their responsibilities until you get to the point of, you know, actually promoting and publishing that content. But that's a process and they have a free plan right here. Let's, let's actually go check out their pricing real quick. Okay, so you can make 50 posts total, unlimited experience. Okay, so it's a little bit vague, you know, if Planable's watching this, you know, maybe test, A-B test the uh, the wording there. I don't know what unlimited experience means. I would also recommend to them, you know, maybe consider increasing that, because if that is not on a monthly basis, then that kind of will feel more like a trial rather than a real free uh, tier. All right. Let's talk about Buffer. Love the Buffer story in general. The founder, I remember I heard, I think he has a, he's a former military person. So the story of how he got started and how he just, he put up this sales landing page. He didn't even have anything built, but he just started selling because he just wanted to see if someone would buy it, which is just smart. So today they have their free tier, 
which allows you to once again um, plan and publish your social media content. Apparently they have a landing page builder. I have not tested this out in the past. And an AI assistant, you can connect up to three of your social media channels and you can start uh, scheduling and publishing that way. And this was the alternative tool or tool that you can use in combination with CoSchedule, which we mentioned earlier. Another tool that is a bit newer is Miro.com, Miro. What is great about Miro, if you're a visual person like me, is that it's like a, it's like a whiteboard, but you can collaborate with people in real time so you can see the mouse of other people moving on the whiteboard. You can, and they have different templates too that you can use. So you can have you know, like this is kind of like more project management related. I really like it for the, the diagrams that you can draw with it because I like to diagram out whether it be um, a plan, you know, for, for a funnel um, or just kind of tracking you know, what are, what are the different ads that we're running? What are the different ads that we might be considering? So in some ways it can overlap a little bit with Figma in this way, but Figma is I think not as accessible to non-designers. I think this is more accessible to non-designers and, and managers and team leaders, marketers. And you can just kind of like, just start drawing stuff on there and it's easy to share it also with your team. So if you're looking to plan out a new workflow, a new funnel, a funnel change, it is really great for that. And also the ease of collaboration factor as well. Uh, next up to help you with uh, project management and collaboration is Slack and Trello. So I'm gonna pair those two together because they each have different strengths. So Slack is, if you don't know about Slack already, um, I think a lot of people watching this probably already do. It's just kind of a real time chat board. And obviously you can do more than just chat, you know, it has all these integrations. They have a network effect around their product in part because they have all these different integrations. A lot of people are already familiar with how to navigate it. We have used them in the past, but Autogrow today has its own custom built web app. Uh, we'll, we'll be coming out with our own freemium version of Autogrow soon uh, for project management, as well as, you know, live chat. But we have used Slack in the, in the past and it is a useful tool and we've used it and it is free. And then for Trello, which is very different from Slack, again, one of the OGs in terms of freemium, it's basically like a Kanban. It's like little sticky notes and you put them into columns and you can drag and drop them. So it's really cool for that reason. It's just a, a great user experience and you can do a lot. You can chat on the cards themselves. You can have different integrations within the cards and automations and assigning people different tasks and uploading images to the cards and you drag and drop. So for example, like one of the most basic uh, boards that you might start with on Trello, you know, um, to do, doing, and done. And we took a little bit of inspiration from this uh, for our, the Autogrow app as well, where we have ideas, projects in progress, and completed. So that, you know, in a similar way, our clients can always see, they can, um, you know, if they have ideas for content writing or uh, landing page, ad campaign, whatever it is, they can capture that under ideas. And then when they want to delegate it, it moves over to uh, projects in progress, similar to Trello, where you might drag and drop the card over to the doing column and then done when it's done, obviously. I know some companies that actually use Trello on the back end, and people are happy with it and they run their entire business off of, off of Trello and it's a free tool. So the next tool is all in one SEO. So this is a plugin that we have used for years and years and years. And we started using this when again, we had zero traffic. Uh, we just had a basic WordPress blog. We have continued to use it even to this day. It just gives you like basic SEO guidance and focus in terms of, you know, you should keep your title to 60 characters. You should write a meta description. And they have definitely continued to evolve. And we have used this tool, by the way, to rank number one in the past for keywords like sales funnels, high ticket sales, and other high traffic keywords that have really helped us to grow our company. The next tool is Uber Suggest. So this is a tool that was built by someone else and then Neil Patel and his agency purchased it. Uber Suggest helps you to get more traffic, helps to give you ideas in terms of what might be bringing you traffic now that you can double down on and, and develop more for, or even like a separate post for. You can sign up for free and get three free searches per day. So quite valuable. So Google Analytics, if you don't know about Google Analytics, it's completely free. You can install it on your website and 
there are a lot of analytics tools out there, but you know, even today, we don't use anything that fancy. I mean, we use some of these, you know, like hot jar type of tool. But again, like the core foundation to help us, you know, to help inform us in terms of like how our content marketing is doing is we'll look at Google Analytics, you know, combined linked up with uh, Google Search Console. So you get that keyword traffic data and, and click through rates in there as well. But Google Analytics, you know, there is no premium version. It's just tracking there for you. Obviously, the way that Google benefits from this is it helps them to improve their search engine, indexing different pages and maybe using some of that data, too, for advertisers. But the trade off is fair and the value is immense. Just hook up Google Analytics. And if you already have it hooked up, spend time just looking at the different reports. Try to really engross yourself in the data. What is it saying? What is it not? And the final tool, King of Kings, among freemium tools that are out there to help you get going or reduce your budget, whatever, is MailChimp. So MailChimp is a freemium email marketing tool. Email is still, even to this day, underrated and underused by a lot of brands, a lot of marketers in terms of its uh, conversion power. You are an order of magnitude more likely to convert someone, in my experience, who has joined your email list versus someone who just comes to your website through cold traffic or even organic traffic because it allows you to follow up and they are giving you permission to follow up. Also, great growth story, which I think that we will actually be breaking down soon in an upcoming uh, video and article. I believe they were bootstrapped the whole time. Possibly they raised money in the middle of their journey, but I know that they started off completely bootstrapped and then one year went freemium. They were one of the early companies to do this and they were already you know, reasonably successful at that time, and their growth rate more than doubled from doing that. We use ActiveCampaign today. In the past though, we have used MailChimp, and it's great if you have a larger team and you wanna be in contact with everyone, if you are recruiting people and you're building a list that way, or just you know, for, again, content marketing. Uh, build your list, and you will grow your leads and grow your sales. So that is it for today's list. Are there any tools that are free freemium that you use on a daily basis right now for your company? If so, please leave a comment uh, below and let me and the rest of the audience know what you recommend, what you've had a great experience with, why you recommend it. Um, I'm sure everyone would get value of that and I'd also love to, to hear. So as I mentioned, we're going to be doing new formats coming up. So do like and subscribe if you're interested on YouTube. And if you are at the point where maybe some of these tools you're you're paying for them, you know, you validated the market, your, your company is at a different point in your journey. It might be a great fit for you to sign up for Autogrow. We do work with uh, startups, but we tend to work with, you know, businesses that are a little bit further along and, you know, they have they have the budget to afford uh, Autogrow, which is already, I think, quite affordable for the value that we provide. Autogrow helps you to delegate all of your digital marketing tasks and projects without the headaches of hiring. You simply sign up and whatever marketing campaign or uh, workflows that you want to see happen on an ongoing basis, you just delegate those to us. And if you need help coming up with ideas, if you need help optimizing your sales funnel, landing pages, graphics, ads, um, SEO, whatever it is, we can get it done for you. So check us out if you're interested at autogrow.co. We even have a $7 for seven day trial. So you can get projects done and confirm that it's a great fit for you by going to autogrow.co today. And we look forward to working with you. All right, until next time, keep auto growing and stay focused.